Welcome to the Seismic to Well Tie presentation. I will show you how to tie your well using your Seismic. First, with the Seismic, we have two different objects, the Seismic and the well, in two different domains, in time and depth domain. The main uh, object of the well tie is to tie the well, and then you can do some velocity model or inversion for rock physics. The standard seismic to well tie, I start with the sonic and the density to compute the acoustic impedance and then the coefficient. And in the other part, I compute the wavelet. I make a convolution between the two to compute my synthetic. And then I try to tie my synthetic with my seismic, with the seismic extract along my wells. This is a comparison of my synthetic in the middle of the picture. With my seismic, I have two different markers, one and two, and now I try to tie this, the seismic with my seismic interpretation and my horizons. First way to do so, uh, some seismic to well time is to do some time shifts. I just create one timeline and then I just have to click on apply to do a time shift and I make a vertical time shift of my synthetic to tie my wells, exactly like this. And now as you can see, my synthetic is well tied with my seismic. The other way is to create several timelines and then I will not do some time shift, I will do some stretch and squeeze uh, to fit my synthetic directly with my seismic. As you can see, the peak and the trough are well tied with the, with the seismic. The limitation of this method is that this method is local and sometimes it's difficult to calibrate with complex geological time. Due to this, we can do some global seismic to well time. To do this, we create a 3D model and we propagate the log using this 3D geo model, exactly like the property modeling. And then we propagate the synthetic using this 3D geo model. As you can see now, I have a synthetic volume and my seismic volume, and then I can compare the two pictures. And exactly like the local seismic to well time, I can do some time shift or some stretch and squeeze to fit my synthetic model with my seismic model. And then we can, we can have some global consequence. For example, I can propagate my uh, uh, synthetic along an arbitrary line and then use the reference well to compare with the seismic. And I can have some discontinuity. And if I fit my synthetic with my seismic with some stretch and squeeze or some time shift, then I will have a better comparison between my seismic and my synthetic and have a better propagation. For example, in this case, I don't have any discontinuity. I have a continuity on my reflector. And then I can increase with more stretch and squeeze the comparison between my seismic and my synthetic to have the better comparison between the two pictures. And I minimize my error. Then I can go further and I can propagate other type of well, for example, the acoustic impedance or the interval velocity using my 3D geo model to directly have some acoustic impedance or interval velocity model. During this presentation, first I will show you how to do some local seismic to well tie, and then I will show you the global seismic to well tie with the propagation of the synthetic using the 3D geo model. First, I will activate the time depth extension, and I can go to the time depth specific load bar. I will start this presentation by the sonic calibration. Just open the sonic calibration. I maximize my windows. And then I just have to choose the well. And I can play without or with check shot. I will start without check shot. Without check shot, I start from my sonic. I just have to define one initial point or velocity to compute a time depth relationship. And then Palios can compute an interval velocity. I can play with the initial point and I have my interval velocity. I can also play with the check shot. In this case, I have the black dots is my, uh, are my check shot. I compute a drift curve and a residual curve from this check shot. And then Palios can correct, calibrate my sonic and compute the, the interval velocity. I can, for the drift curve, make some selection, select all the check shot. I just have to toggle on and toggle off to select my check shot. As you can see, when I toggle off, everything is updating directly on the fly. I can keep every two, three, and I can come back to select all. 
for the drift curve, I can have different type of interpolation. I have a linear interpolation or polynomial. For the polynomial, I just have to choose the degree of the drift curve and everything is still updating on the fly. Then I have the output. By default, I save the time depth. I can also save the calibrate sonic, the sonic velocity, and just check such velocity. Just have to click on save to save my calibration. I just cancel, it's already computed in this case. And then before to start the well tie, I have to compute a wavelet. I will maximize my windows and I can compute three different types of wavelets, analytic, statistical, and deterministic. I will start with the analytic. With the analytic, I just have to choose my wavelet. I have different types of wavelets, like horse B, sinus cardinal, weaker, and I just have to play with the parameter. For example, I can change the phase of my wavelet, or I can change directly with this box. I can also apply a taper. We have different types of taper like Anne, Amin, Bartlett, and I just have to play with the percentage of taper to apply my taper. I can also reverse the polarity of my wavelet and change the display of the amplitude spectrum. I will change the type of the wavelet. I will compute a statistical wavelet. Just click on the new button and compute a statistical wavelet. For the statistical wavelet, I just have to choose a volume them just choose a part of this volume and PaleoScan with a Fourier transform inverse will compute my wavelet. I just have to choose the phase of my wavelet and PaleoScan extracts this wavelet from my seismic. I can choose between constant phase or minimum phase and the length of my wavelet. I can move my point to extract my wavelet from different parts of my seismic. The last way to create some wavelet is a deterministic wavelet. I will just remove the other one to have a better display. I have to choose a wave well to have some sonic and density to compute reflection coefficients and a, and a seismic. From the seismic, exactly like the uh, statistical, I will extract with the Fourier transform, and then for the phase, Paleoscan will use the coefficient and make a convolution to find the best phase for my wavelet. With the deterministic wave, uh, wavelet extraction, we have different type method, the constant phase or the raw white. With the raw white, we have a, sli a slicing windows, and we can play with these windows, and Paleoscan computes for each windows a wavelet. Paleoscan directly finds the best wavelet. It's a it's a square, black square, and you can directly find with this button the best wavelet with the raw white method. At the bottom, you, you have the best wavelet uh, coefficient, and you just have to click on save to save the wavelet. Then we can start the well tie module. You just have to click on the seismic to well tie. You have to choose a well, then choose the well log, to find the sonic and the density, you can use the Garner relationship. You have to choose a volume and a wavelet. With, on this windows, we have different type of log. We have the sonic, the density, the acoustic impedance, the coefficient, the synthetic, the correlation between the wavelet and the synthetic, the interval velocity, and the correlation. And on the right part, we have the synthetic with the seismic in density and in wiggles. I just zoom in to start my well tie. To start the well tie, I just drag and drop my markers to display the markers. And then I can start my well tie. We'll just start with one well tie to do some time shift. To do so, I just have to create one timeline. Just have to click and then just put my timeline on the trough and I click on apply to apply the time shift. As you can see, I have better correlation locally. If I want to correlate all my log, I can do some stretch and squeeze. I will just reset, start from scratch, and then I will create several timelines to have a better correlation between my synthetic and my seismic. Just have to create one, another one for this peak. 
just go down to create a third tie, tie line. I go down again, I continue to find some correlation between synthetic and seismic. And then I just have to click on apply to create a stretch and squeeze. With the stretch and squeeze, I have a drift curve of my interval velocity. And as you can see, I have a really good correlation between my synthetic and my seismic with the correlation log. We can save the time depth relationship and then different type of log using the well time module. If I click on save, I will save all this log. Just reset my well tie. Now we can do some global QC to use the propagation of the synthetic using the 3D Geo model. Now on the right part, I have the propagation of my synthetic along my 3D model just around the well. If I want, I can click on base, best time shift and PaleoScan will find automatically the best time shift to find the best correlation between the two pictures, between my synthetic model and my seismic model. And then PaleoScan finds the best time shift you can apply and PaleoScan apply directly the best time shift to have the best correlation between the two pictures. Just reset again to show you it's also possible to do manual well tie and change the propagation of my synthetic directly with a time shift or a stretch and squeeze. Exactly like local QC, I can create my timeline exactly the same way for just correlate this peak with this peak. I go down exactly the, the same. I go down again and I click on apply and automatically Palios can update the picture of the synthetic and compare with the seismic. And then I have the mean error between the two pictures. The aim is to minimize this value. I can also display uh, the propagation along an arbitrary line. I just have to drag and drop my arbitrary line. Palios can extract the seismic along the the arbitrary line and then propagate the synthetic along the arbitrary line. I can also display my well along the arbitrary line. It's an arbitrary line along well. And then I can create some timeline to change the propagation. Just click on apply. Just navigate to find to show you the propagation and the comparison between the two pictures. As you can see, the two viewers are linked. And then I can also create my timeline exactly like before and click on apply. PaleoScan will recompute the propagation along the arbitrary line and compare the two pictures. But for the moment, I use only one well to propagate along my arbitrary line. If I have already some well well tie i can use this well to constrain the propagation along the arbitrary line and have a better correlation between the two pictures i need to be sure that my well are well tied if it's not well tied i will introduce some error on the propagation and now i have minimized the error because all the wells are well tied except this one then i can close the display along the arbitrary line. I remove the well. I use as constraint. And I toggle off just to have around my arbitrary line. And then I can propagate different type of log like acoustic impedance or interval velocity. And as you can see, I have my interval velocity model volume or sonic volume or density volume around my well directly using the propagation with the 3D model. If I save, I will save the time depth relationship and all this log. And I can do some well marker QC to check if my well are well tied or not. Just click on the well marker QC. I just have to choose the well, I have my well before well tie and after well tie. Just have to choose the marker. I will just choose the key marker. 
I have different marker for tie or not tie. Just click on next. And then I will increase the size of my windows. Just have to choose my horizon for each marker. The same for the other marker. And now I have a table with the mismatch between my markers and my horizons. If I open a seismic, just tile it to organize my windows. If I click on a value, PaleoScan will focus directly the viewer, the seismic, on this point. And now I can compare the mismatch between my marker and my well not tie and tie. As you can see, I have a very good correlation with my tie well compared to the not well tie. And I can check visually the mismatch between the horizon and the marker. I can activate the name. I have my horizons, the marker tie, and below the marker not tie. Also, I can activate the blending viewer, which is new windows and blending viewer, to compare a synthetic volume propagate with the 3D geo model and the synthetic crate during the well tie. With the seismic, I just drag and drop the seismic and the synthetic volume, and then by playing with the color bar for each volume and the cursor for the transparency, I can compare my seismic and my synthetic model. And as you can see, because I have well tie wells, now I have a very good correlation between my synthetic from the well tie and my seismic. As conclusion, with PaleoScan, you have two different types of well tie. You have a local well tie with time, uh, time shift and uh, stretch and squeeze, or you have a global method. With the global method, you have an automatic detection of the best time shift, or you can make a comparison between your synthetic model and your seismic model and minimize the, uh, the error between the two pictures. It's very good to have a global QC of, of your well tie. Thank you for your attention and see you on the next video.